What's good everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video. We are still in the month of No Shave November and I actually realized I have not made a video about my beard in a very long time. It's all been about shaving my head and different stuff like that. If you guys have not seen the video about this, this is actually called the Shave Beanie. If you want to see the whole video, hit the card that pops up or whatever. I'm actually not going to use this on camera today, but I did just get out the shower and I'm going to be shaving my head off camera because there's not too much hair to shave, but I still like to have a very clean shave. I'm not going to show you guys shaving my head, but I'm still letting this thing marinate on my scalp uh, to make it easier when I'm done. Right now, what I'm going to do though is actually line up my beard. Now, you guys got to let me know. If I'm breaking the rules, I have no idea. Um, again, we are in the month of No Shave November. I'm not trimming the beard down. I'm not cutting the flyaways. I'm not doing nothing. As you guys can see, my mustache is like all up in my mouth. It's going kind of crazy, um, which is not normally how I like to have it. I have it, you know, nice and lined up. Again, the mustache is all up in my mouth. I'm keeping that but what I refuse to do is just let this girl kind of wild and things like that and have all the hair up under my neck kind of going crazy I like to have a nice crispy line at all times no matter what so if you guys feel I'm breaking the rules let me know below and if you feel that way as well my bad but it's gonna happen today shout out to all my new subscribers though that may not be aware check the channel I got like a hundred plus maybe 150 videos on all this stuff in more detail but today I'm gonna be using the Andy's uh, super liner trimmers to go ahead and line this beard up for you guys that asked about the cool lube when I did the live stream um, or I actually asked what do I spray on the clippers and I didn't know the name of it I had forgot it's actually the cool lube clipper spray so got these plugged in right now I'm gonna go ahead and spray them up turn them on before you do it too Makes the blades go a lot faster. It's gonna give you a nice good shave. Wiggle that around just a tad bit. That should be good right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prop this up in the mirror because I need it to get them angles, baby. Now today, uh, what we are gonna need to get this uh, job done is of course a pick just to get the beard expanded. Um, I also like to use a comb just to get the lines in detail and make sure you know I'm not cutting any of the longer pieces of hair. I just wanna cut the new growth that's on the sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and bust out the uh, razor right here. Straight edge razor, razorette, whatever you wanna call it, to get the job done. Another thing too, I know I told you guys I have not made no video about like the whole Scotch Porter set, but if you're watching this video in time or maybe even shortly after, make sure you hit the link in the description if you're trying to get a discount. At the time of me ranking this video, the discount is still available. And I wanna show you guys I have been using this product, mainly the lotion. I've been using this every single day. I mean, it's lotion. But I think the cool thing about it though is that it, they have a whole kit like of everything. But as far as the lotion, like what I think about the lotion, is lotion. That's all I got to say about that. Another thing, you guys know I use a Dr. Burner soap, right? This is what I use to make me shave my head. I do not touch this on my beard or nothing like that at all. Even though we're not shaving my head today, it was sitting on the counter. And I wanted to show you guys I'm officially out of it. Even though we're out of this bottle right here, don't worry, I went ahead and bought a whole new bottle. So the Dr. Browners is still what I use mainly as uh, my choice for shaving uh, soap, gel, cream, whatever you want to call it. Um, also, went ahead and ran out of this. You guys know I love this product. I put you guys on this product. A number of you guys, the Dare to be Bald, as you guys can see, a little tiny little squirt came out. That's about it, man. That's about it. But don't worry, even though we got this one that's empty right here, we got a whole new bottle right here. I think I showed you guys this one as well before. Link's in the description. That's enough though for promoting the products. Let me hurry up and get this done. Um, gonna throw this stuff to the side. And step one, we got the pick. Go ahead and pick the beard out. To those who ask me, what do I do? Like if I see it, like a, uh, the hair is getting stuck, I don't force the pick through it. I actually just go a little bit slower or take the pick out and try to put it back in. If you feel like it might be snagging a little bit, just go slow. Don't rip your whole beard out. But I mean, the texture of my beard is curly, a little nappified, and that's just the way it is, man. As you guys can see, it seems like it's getting stuck right there. Put it through the front. See, now I tried it again a couple more times and now our first one was just getting stuck. Now it's going through. All right, so now that we got the uh, basis of the beard, um, you know, picked out, go ahead and get the clippers. And again, I like to start up under my neck. It's not too much to shave as I said before, but I just want to make sure I'm looking crispy at all times. So bust them on, get the beard out the way so you don't cut off some of that growth and just get the new hairs up under the neck. So 
So as I'm getting ready to do the sides, I like to get the comb, brush it this way. That, that way I'm not, you know, all the long hair is right there. I'm not chopping this off, messing up the whole growth. So that's why I like to comb it out of the way. So we can see everything that we're getting ready to cut and make it nice and crisp. Now with the angle that I have this camera right here, I gotta look this way so you guys ain't gonna really see it, but I'm gonna hit you when I do this other side. Boom, so just like that, you guys can see, this is looking a little bit better now. Clean these off a little bit and we're gonna hit the other side. Same thing. Comb it out the way so you can see what you're about to do. Just like that, y'all see it? Y'all see it? The line is looking extra sharp and it's looking fantastic, terrific, baby. Just how I like it. Bottom, check. Sides, check. Now we gotta go ahead and do the front right here. So, same deal. Go ahead and use the comb. Get it out the way. Lightly, man, form a guide. And then we're gonna make it extra, extra crispy when we do it with the blade right here. So let's go ahead and do it. You guys can see. Let me zoom in just a tad bit. You guys can see just a little bit of new growth right there. We're gonna knock that out. Same thing on this side. Same thing on this side right here. So let's go ahead and clean it up. All right, so I think I formed a nice little line with the uh, trimmers there. So I'm getting ready to put the blade to it, make it nice and crispy, but not before we put the pre-shave oil on there. Today, again, I'm gonna be using the uh, Shave Secret right here. As you guys know, I showed you guys, there's also this brand from right here, uh, from Scotch Porter. I prefer to use a Scotch Porter one um, on my head. It just, I don't know, just like for the amount that you get and like the price of it and like the way it makes my head feel and stuff like that. I just prefer to use this on my head. So for my beard, I'm gonna actually stick with using the Shave Secret, especially because um, I just got a little bit left. So I might as well at least kill it off before I start using uh, another product in a different way that I haven't used it before. Throw some water on where we're getting ready to shave. Go ahead and add a few drops of the Shave Secret pre-shave oil. Make the blade glide a little smoother. So I threw a fresh blade in here like two days ago, but I haven't used it since then. So this is gonna be the first time, new blade, same deal. You guys can see it up close real quick. We're about to make a uh, nice line, check it out. Go ahead and hit the comb on it. Add a little bit more water. And go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Just like that, we're almost done, guys. So this line came out looking nice, but I actually think this side looked a little bit better. But I think it's mostly because it's like it's darker. The line is a lot sharper. But I mean, this line is extra sharp too. But it's just not. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But anyways, before we finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead and of course use the witch hazel. That is my uh, preferred aftershave of choice there. Go ahead and rub this on. Not only on the top where you actually use the uh, straight razor, but also up under the neck where you put the blade in general, the trimmers at. And there it is, so that's how we looking. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some beard balm in there right now. Scotch Porter, this is what I've been using. You guys know I like to mix it up though. I don't always use the Scotch Porter, but if you guys uh, watch the video on time, you know you might be able to catch a sale on the product again, as I mentioned before. Anyways, go ahead and rub it in. Look like the hair is thin right there. All we gotta do is bunch it up. Bunch it up, baby, you can't even tell. If I spread it apart, oh, you can see it. Oh, that joint ain't gone now, baby. That's why you need a longer beard, man. If you guys have patches or anything, don't even worry about it, man. If you have patches, if your beard gets long, just move them hairs over, baby. It's like a little comb over for the beard, you feel me? A little comb over for the beard. <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, y'all let me know what I should do with this mustache though. Again, if you guys didn't catch me on the live, I pretty much said, you know, for the month of uh, No Shave November, I'm not doing nothing with my mustache, as you guys can see. It is like about to make my whole top lip disappear. 
I've been just tasting it for, you know, a while now. I actually started, you know, before the No Shave November. I knew that was the plan, was that I was not going to touch anything with my mustache and just see what kind of happens with it. So I've been growing it for a little while. And um, I don't know. I guess we'll see up there at the end of the month what happens with the uh, mustache. But beard is lined up nice and trimmed everything like that i'm getting ready to go ahead and shave my head now but i'm gonna do that off of camera as i mentioned um again though if you guys want to see me use this and how this product works if you did not catch that video uh links are going to be in the card that pops up and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace